Welcome to the I Hunt Health YouTube channel. I'm John Hunter. As you may know, I am a weight loss coach and I've lost 130 pounds of fat. And I'm going to talk about the damage that obesity did to my body. And I'm also going to cover the things that I'm doing to heal it. Let's get into it. I guess the first thing um, that I want to talk about is my flat feet, right? I've had flat feet since I was a kid. I'm not going to sit here and say that um, a doctor said that, well, you're big and it caused you to have flat feet. No doctor ever told me that I, I have flat feet or that it was caused by obesity, but I do have flat feet and I think it was caused by obesity. I never went into a doctor. It wasn't something serious enough for me to go in. But as I got older, I started to realize I don't need a doctor for everything. <laughs> you gotta be more self-aware and learn your body and study your body. There's there's things that you could do yourself at home, period. I'm not gonna dive too deep into that. My, my obesity and the fact that I was overweight and I was 375 pounds and all that force was just pushing down on my joints and onto my feet caused my, my the arches of my feet to concave and become flat. This caused me so many problems throughout my life because it damaged me not only uh, from a physical standpoint, it actually hurts and it can cause plantar fasciitis and which is like an inflammation of like a, I think it's a tendon or a ligament in the middle of your foot. Very painful. I've had that for, I don't even know how long, but on a mental scale though, I also used to get teased for having um, wide feet. And when your feet are when your feet have a natural arch, they're, they're skinnier, you know? So when, when you're overweight and you have all that weight pushing down and your feet become flat, it has no choice but to push outwards. So as, as you gain more weight and your feet are getting flatter and they're pushing outwards, you're starting to, I was personally stretching out like shoes and stuff like that. I had people that would make fun of me because I had wide feet. I couldn't share shoes with friends because I get teased for stretching out their shoes or something like that. And like, it was shitty, but it was my situation and I ate all that food to get myself in that situation. I take full responsibility for it. The best part about all this is, is that flat feet are something that you can heal. You can reverse that. And so when I learned that, it was the coolest thing ever because I realized, well, shit, let me get to it. Like, how can I restore the arches in my feet? There's there's this gym mat. It's like a wrestling mat at Lifetime. And I'll go in there and I'll jump up on my tippy toes. I'll do skips. I'll do a bunch of different things to get my feet moving. And I would do all these things and it, it would help, uh, you know, relieve a lot of that a lot of that pressure down in my feet and in my ankles. So I started to do ankle exercises. I started doing balancing exercises, core and ankle exercises on a basu ball and things like that to really help to really help strengthen my ankles and my feet and stuff like that. And it helped me tremendously. So I'm not gonna sit here and say that I've cured my the arches in my feet, but it's an ongoing process. And it's something that I actually just recently started to attack, but I've known that I've had it and I realized that it was something that I could fix. And so now that's what I'm focused on is fixing it. Best part about it is that I have the rest of my life to continue to try and heal myself from the damages that I caused from obesity. I guess the second thing would be joints. So when you're that big, I was 370 pounds, and when you're that big, every pound of weight that you lose, you take four pounds of pressure off of your joints. So I lost 130 pounds. I can't even do the math in my head, but <laughs> I lost a crazy amount of weight and it took so much pressure off of my joints. And it, it's honestly amazing to think that I've taken that much pressure off my joints, knowing that I used to walk around very uncomfortable every single day. And it was a struggle for real. I seen a video of a guy, he lost like 200 pounds and he put on like a, a backpack with a bunch of weights in it and he carried some dumbbells and he just had weights hanging off his body for every pound of fat that he lost. And he was walking up a, up a hill, he went across like a bridge and he recorded everything on a drone. And it was super inspiring to me because it was cool to see like, that's something that I wanna do. That's something that really like, it, it just inspired me because he reminded himself of where he was at, all that pressure that was on him and how difficult it was to walk around like that every single day. Now I get it, you know, the weight was distributed differently when it was on him, but he experienced that again and he said it reminded him not to ever go back to that shit. And I commend that man, cause that's, that's super dope for real. So again, I say like, every pound that you, every pound of fat you lose, you're taking four pressures off of your joint, four pounds of pressure off of your joints. It's gonna make your lifestyle so much better, so much easier, I promise you. So take this fat loss stuff serious. If you are on a journey and, and you're sick of damaging your body, start the process of healing it. And remind yourself just like that guy did. I find your own way to do it or do it the same way. But remind yourself 
how important it is to get all that that weight off you it's gonna change your life i promise you now the third thing this isn't really a physical thing but it was uh, a mental thing i guess and it was my confidence it was the fact that when i was morbidly obese i kind of convinced myself of all these negative things you know like i couldn't get this girl or she was out of my league or you know i couldn't i couldn't you know play basketball with people who were quicker than me or this and that it was just like a lot of self-doubt and it wasn't that i wasn't talented it wasn't like i couldn't talk to females or stuff like that but it was just i lacked confidence and it was simply because me personally when i looked in the mirror i didn't like what i seen i wasn't cool with it and I was lying to myself every day saying, hey, I'm gonna start next week. I'm gonna start the week after that, New Year's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all these things. And I got sick and tired of my own bullshit. And I said, hey, we gotta turn this around. And I started to lose all that weight. I lost 130 pounds and it made me super confident. Don't get me wrong, I still have my struggles. I still get insecure sometimes, but I'm a hell of a lot more confident than I was when I was larger. And it did do a lot of damage to me mentally. But one thing I will say, like I said earlier, is I have the rest of my life to heal myself <laughs> and if that's not comforting i don't know what the hell is for real so with that being said like comment share and subscribe and reach out to me at hunt health official on instagram and say what's up see y'all later